Here we have a table with four rows. In the first row we have one value prompt and in other rows we have some report objects. Here we have a list, here we have a pie chart and here we have a cross tab. And now I will execute this report in HTML format. But we will not see all report objects, we will only see a list. And that is because list is selected inside of this value prompt. If I change this to pie, then I will see a pie chart. And if I change this to cross tab, I will see a cross tab. And now I will show you how to create this functionality. We will jump to this other report and we will start by adding a value prompt. So I will add my value prompt here and I will name my parameter param render variable and I will just click on finish. Then we have to provide values to our prompt. For that we will use static choices. I will click here on three dots. I will create a new variable of string data type. And this variable will have a name var render variable. Then we will say what values this variable can have. So I will click here on plus. And first value will be list. Okay. Second value will be pie chart. And third value will be cross tab. Okay. I will click on okay. And then we have to say from where this variable will get its value. So I will click on these parameters to up. And then I will use this previously created param rv parameter. I will click on OK. And the last thing we have to give some values to our prompt, something that user can choose from. So I will click here on plus and I will create values a list. We don't have to type both list uh, in use value and in display value. If we omit entering anything in display value, then use value will be also used as a display value. So this is everything we have to type. So I will click on OK and I will click again on plus. I will type Y, OK, and I will add also cross tab. Now I will change first some properties of this prompt. I will first uh, turn on auto submit. I will hide a dormant. I will uh, define default selections. So I will click here on three dots and my default selection will be list. I will click on OK, then on OK, and at the end I will remove my header text by clicking here and selecting this specify text option. OK. And now I will run my report in HTML, but this time we will see all of the three objects. So we have to do one more step. I will close this and we have to first to select each of these objects. So I will first select list. And then we will use its property with the name render variable. So I will open this dialog. I will select previously created variable render variable. And I will say that this object will be rendered if this variable has value list. So I will uncheck pi chart and cross tab. And render means that it will be shown to the user. It will be presented. So I will click on OK. And similarly for this visualization, I will go to its render variable. I will select var rv and this time I will check only pie chart. OK. And for cross tab we will do the same. We will go to render variable. We will select this var rv variable and we will only check cross tab. OK. Now we can run our report in HTML. And this time the, our selection will work. This, the first value that is selected is list, but we can also select pie chart or we can select cross tab. If we want to remove uh, some of this object from uh, the influence of render variable, for example, I want to remove this list from the influence of render variable, we can just go here to render variable, we will click on three dots and we will change this to none. In this case, this list will not be under effect of this prompt. For example, if you run this report again, we will always see our list. If I change this to pie chart, the list will be shown always, but this time we will see pie chart below. If we select cross tab, then cross tab uh, will be presented below. 
It's also possible to remove render variable from all of these three objects. For that, we go here to variables, we select this variable and we click on delete. And if we now run our report, again, we will see all of the three report objects.